So you're considering making a move to Bradenton, Florida. Well, don't until you watch this video. Today, Marsha and I are gonna show you all over this beautiful city. We are so excited to share it with you. We're down here today at the Twin Dolphin Marina, as you can see behind us here. This place is stunning, but we're gonna talk about all the wonderful things that Bradenton, Florida has to offer. We're gonna talk about the parks. We're gonna go to Robinson Preserve. That's right. right. Where else are we gonna go? Anna Maria Island. We're gonna go Anna Maria Island, y'all. That is, everybody knows Anna Maria Island. If you don't, it's just south of Tampa Bay. You want to know about it. It's absolutely stunning. Where else are we gonna go? We're gonna go to downtown Bradenton. Down, we're gonna go check out downtown show, Bradenton. Show you some restaurants. We're gonna see shops, restaurants. We're gonna go check out parks. We're gonna show you all around town. That way you can make the best decision before you make the move to Bradenton, Florida. And we're gonna get into it right now. Well, if this is your first time to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group. And I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in, in the Tampa Bay area. And I'm joined here today by my teammate, Marsha Railton, who also lives in Bradenton, Florida. I do. Absolutely. So she's excited to share her city with you today. And I'm excited to share it with you as well. Guys, if you've never reached out to us before, please feel free. You can call, text, DM me on Instagram. All of my contact information is listed down below. If you are considering making that move to the area, me or Marsha would love to help you with that move. Do not hesitate to reach out. However you gotta get a hold of us, we got your back. So here's what I wanna talk about today. We're walking down by this beautiful marina. We are in this gorgeous city and a lot of people, right, come to Anna Maria Island. Now like everybody knows about Anna Maria Island. They're, they're jacked up about it. But what is it, Marsha, that is really bringing people to this city? I mean, you can see behind us, you've got this gorgeous marina. Where, and the town actually has quite a bit. I, I The first time I came to, to Bradenton, I was kind of shocked because in my mind, being from Tampa, we're a pretty big metropolitan area. Yeah. And even though this is only 45 minutes south, I just assumed that this was kind of out in no man's land because it's, you know, basically in between Sarasota and Tampa, right? We're 30 minutes north of Sarasota, 25 on a good day, depending on traffic and the lights. It's not far, but no. it just takes a little bit of time. But it's a beautiful area and more and more people as they start to call me now. And, you know, over the last year and a half, we've been serving all of these wonderful relocation clients like you, but they're asking about Bradenton more yeah. and more often. That's starting to come up. What is it about this city? Why do you love being a resident of Bradenton, Florida? I feel like it's a hidden secret because you're right, we're close to Tampa, St. Pete, and Sarasota, so we can choose where we want to go. But mm -hmm. if we want to just hang out in Bradenton, so we love it because of the river. It can t You can take your boat, go to restaurants, go to a concert, just hang around in a really cool area without having to drive far. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And, we're, and for those of you that don't know from a geography perspective, we'll put the map up, but it's just at the south end of Tampa Bay and right off the Manatee River, which is really cool. We've done a, a, a few videos already, ran around and Parish a little bit, checked out that river. It gives you access. And Marsha, you live right off the river, right? Like, yeah, you, yeah, I'm so, lucky. Yeah, Very you got lucky. a boat, you're able to travel. You can bring the boat down here to Oak and Stone, correct me if I'm yes, wrong? Yes, we do. That's the life, y'all. And a lot of the times when people are reaching out to us, it's because of the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, the sunshine, that's the normal thing that are people looking for, but they also want to know what's around, what is happening in those cities. Why do people want to live there? So that is our mission today. That is what you are going to get out of today's video. We are so excited and we are going to start by checking all of the wonderful things out. We're going to go right down to the river walk and then we're going to take you guys right over to Anna Maria Island and just explore everything this beautiful town has to offer.
So we're at Oak and Stone, and one of the cool features here, if you haven't recognized, is they've got this awesome beer wall uh, behind us where you get to pour your own beer. So you gotta have this um, bracelet on apparently, and what it does is it pours per ounce. So that way they can keep track of it, otherwise it's like all you can drink, right? So they take my ID and a credit card, and now we're gonna go grab a, grab a beer, let's go. All right, y'all, so we're down here on the Bradenton Riverwalk, and this is a really cool little piece of land, obviously. It's a great part of the community. It's a mile and a half, right? Correct. Correct me wrong. A mile and a half, and you guys can see the Riverwalk sign up behind me here, but there's there's other history in Bradenton, and you know, a lot of the times people are always wondering, like, how did a city get established, or what was the draw? You know, what was the thing that brought people to it? And a really unique piece of history, I think, here is the fact that um, a, a really cool company that you guys will know um, that is, you know, all across North America is it was founded here, and you know, yes, it, it yeah. So it's very cool. So talk to us about what we're what we're alluding to here. Okay, Tropicana. They were established here in 1949. Um, the headquarters is moved to Chicago, but the production still comes out of Bradenton. And we'll show you the train track that yeah, crosses let, the Manatee River. Let me pull around right now, Marsha, I'm gonna show it. So this train track that you guys can see behind me here, you see the little uh, bridge right there that, that's pulled up. That train track still twice a day, right? Yes, it does. Twice a day still runs to take the uh, the production orange juice out of Bradenton and onto your grocery shelves, which I think is a really yeah, cool, it really is cool, cool feature. Yeah, Tropicana still produces 4 billion oranges a year here. So it's a lot of oranges and you see them coming in by semi. And then once the juice is produced, they leave by train crossing the river here. That's awesome. So, you know, Bradenton are roughly around 56,000 residents currently. Correct. That's in Braden pro Bradenton proper. Um, you know, the real estate here, you know, the average home price for a three bedroom, two bath is right around uh, 415,000. Just like anywhere else, y'all, that can go as high as you want it. We get out to Anna Maria Island, you can spend more than a few million. Millions, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very easy. <laughs> um, if you want a two bedroom, you know, one bath house in Bradenton, you can get those for around $300,000. And again, this is time pricing uh, based upon where we're at right now. But I love this. You got a pavilion, you got uh, concerts you can do out here. Yeah. You know, the walkway here, right behind us, they've got this little botanical garden. I hope you guys could see it behind us. They had the hibiscus and everything, but this is a really cool space. You've got swings down here, um, a skate park you said as yeah. well, right? So Volleyball like Volleyball nets. Plenty to do and, and a mile and a half. So if you're a runner, you got a mile and a half and it'll take you right back over to the Twin Dolphin Marina, which I think is a really cool thing. So this is a great little feature. A lot of the times when people move to a community, they're always wondering, where do I go? What is the thing that people do? And I mean, you've got access to all those beautiful restaurants, right? Oak yeah. and Stone, Pier 22, other places. Like what are some of your favorite coffee shops in the area? Starbucks, number one. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, so I am standing at the Riverwalk uh, Skate Park, which is really cool. Fun fact about Juan is I used to have a ramp in my backyard and I love skateboarding and my ankles can no longer take it, but this is such a cool park. This is a bowl for those of you that don't know, it's concrete. I think this is awesome. I wanna show you guys a little bit more just over to the side here, as you can see these guys running around. It's super windy and I'm right by the bridge. So this is part of the process, but look at this. You got gaps and hips and all the things you need coping oh this is so cool this is so cool i love seeing stuff like this i love the communities that take time to give you know kids and adults like myself the opportunity to get out and y'all it is right on the river what a really cool scene man so like this guy's up here making this 
We're right across from the Memorial Hospital right here in Bradenton. So it's a really cool spot. Marsh is making friends as you guys can see behind me here, but it's, what a really fun place to come hang out, bring the kids, bring a skateboard, bring a bike, have a blast. All right, y'all, so we've made our way over to Anna Maria Island, and we're gonna be exploring a few of these beautiful beaches here today. We're on Holmes Beach right now. Uh, Marsh is gonna give you guys all the details here, but you know, Anna Maria Island, it's about 20 uh, minutes drive time west of Bradenton. Now, technically it, it runs right up to Bradenton, but from downtown is what I'm referring to, right? So it's a seven mile stretch of beach. It's two miles wide. You've got three public beaches here. What was the name of the beaches? Holmes Beach, also known as Manatee City Beach. Yeah. Bradenton Beach in the city of Anna Maria. Yep, and right now we're on Holmes Beach and this beach is really cool. You know, they got a few features I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna share with you guys here in a second, but this is one of the, the main attractions in Southwest Florida, South Central technically, right? Um, where we live right now, but Anna Maria is such a popular island. Um, when people call me about moving to Tampa, you know, they typically ask about Tampa, Sarasota, hey, what are, what are the beaches in the area? But everybody that I know that's moved from the Midwest has experienced Anna Maria yeah. Island at some point, yeah. right? Your family um, comes. That's usually, right. Yep. On a vacation. Family. Now, it's, it's a beautiful island. I mean, as you guys can see behind us here, you know, white sandy beaches. And we've talked about this many times. If you followed this channel before, you know, blessed enough to live in the uh, Clearwater St. Pete Beach area and we're just to the south of that. We're only 30 minutes over the bridge, right? It's a little bit longer drive than that, but if you, you know, if you were to take a boat, it's 30 minutes from here yeah. to St. Pete Beach. So you're really close on that end, but just has so much to offer here. Marsha, when you bring the boat out here, what, what can you find where if you're sitting at Rod and Reel having dinner, you know, what do you see out when you're out here in Anna Maria Island? Well, at Rod and Reel, which we're going to take you to, it's super fun. There's a lot of fishermen there um, and fisher ladies. <laughs> and also you get to see a lot of dolphins and we all love to do that. So a lot of times my husband and I will just grab a beer and sit on the pier and meet all kinds of people while we're sitting there, which is super fun. There's also a lot of islands that you can um, pull your boat up to and it's quiet. There's usually only boaters there. A lot of them are preserved, so you can't actually go onto the island, but maybe just the beach. So there's so much to do. Yeah, and as you guys can see, it's a gorgeous day here. It's like 75 degrees. The first day of December, it's freaking phenomenal. This is why people come <laughs> down here, lucky. right? Yes, this is why people move here. Make no mistake about it. What are some of the other things cool about Holmes Beach in particular? Like I noticed when we came in, they had something about pancakes. Yeah, they have all you can eat pancakes every morning here. And then every evening from 5.30 to 7, they have live music. It's different types of music, but it's um, till sunset. So you get double entertainment with the music and watching the sunset. That's fantastic. All right, y'all, we're gonna go check out the other two beaches here. So we're going to Ana Maria and we're going to Bradenton Beach as well. We'll meet you over there. We're just minutes from downtown Bradenton checking out this beautiful house right across from a park that's being renovated underneath all these beautiful oak trees. And this home has 1,815 square feet. It was built in 1952. It's a three bedroom, two bath home with beautiful wood floors and a very large, pretty deck out back that's very private.
All right, y'all. So we are now down in Bradenton Beach. Uh, we're actually standing right in front of the moose, which you guys can see behind me here is really cool. We just went on the rooftop bar. Awesome spot. You can see the entire beach from there. You can see the, uh, the piers down at the other side. We just had lunch here at the Bridge Street uh, Bistro, right? Yes. What did you have? I had a club or salad. You had a, oh, she had a wedge salad, right? Wedge salad, wedge salad right? Yeah, wedge and I had the grouper tacos, strongly recommend. Uh, they were they were really nice with the french fries. They got beans and rice too. Fries were good. <laughs> <laughs> they were good, but we've checked out these three beaches today. And you know, I know that uh, Anna Maria Island is not Bradenton, right? But it's it's part of it. it when you're is. talking about living in, you know, Bradenton, Florida, you know, what you want to take advantage of everything. You got the marina that's downtown, which is beautiful, but you know, a lot of people are going to take the time to go to the beach. And this is a huge draw. You can see, you know, it's we're not quite in season yet where everybody's here. The, the tourism hasn't hasn't exploded, but it's still, as you can see, there's lots to do. I mean, there are shops and restaurants all down this block right here um, that you can come check out at any point. It's an absolutely incredible place. It's totally worth the visit. Seven miles of beautiful white sugary sand, um, and you are not going to be disappointed, y'all. So make sure you make it over to Anna Maria Island. We're going to go check out one more piece of real estate today. I just want to give you guys a sense of like, what does it cost to live in, in the area? And then what can you expect? And we're going to get into that. See, See you soon. soon. All right, y'all. One of the things you know we love to do is share the local real estate with you. And um, I have a gem for you today. And uh, we're walking right by this property now, but this is a beautiful home that was built in 2021. It, it features uh, four bedrooms, six full baths. Y'all, you have to check out the kitchen in here. Uh, we'll put a photo of it up right here. You guys can check it out. But it's 230, I'm sorry, 2,381 square feet. It's currently listed at 3,350,000. It was built in 2021, like I said. And it is just minutes away from Holmes Beach, three minutes precisely. Um, we're in a little cul-de-sac here. You know, you can check out the neighborhood. There are beautiful homes. The intercoastal is right there. So you have access to the water. This home doesn't, it doesn't have a boat dock, something to be mindful of. Now on the uh, on the island right now, the average price point um, is right about three and a half million, right, right in this range here. The lowest piece of real estate I saw at the time of this recording was about a million. The highest currently listed was uh, about 8 million. So, you know, wide range here. And you can see the, the, the properties here as well. Remember this is a coastal town. These are established, you know, in the, in the forties and the fifties, sixties, seventies, there's houses all in those ranges here, but this home is absolutely stunning. Oh, I just wanted to ch uh, share this. And as you know, we always like to, to do the gambit, right? What's something that the higher price points, what's something at the middle and you know, what's budget friendly as well. But I think this is a beautiful example of, of a gorgeous property here on Anna Maria Island. It is absolutely stunning. I'm in Tidewater Preserve. It's where I live. I've called it home for almost nine years now and love it here. It's a beautiful neighborhood with a variety of homes, single family, townhouses, and condos. Right behind me is a beautiful home for sale right now and it's listed for 1.1 million. It's a three bedroom, three bath with an awesome dock out back, a swimming pool and spa. It's gorgeous. And located right across the street from the Manatee River, so in a great area. We're dog friendly here. We have a dog park. We have three pools, um, a couple community centers, and the boat lift, as I mentioned earlier. It's a great place to live. Come check it out. All right, y'all. So we just spent the entire day in Bradenton, Florida. And, you know, shout out to Marsha here, who obviously is new to the channel, as you guys are well aware, but it takes a lot of guts to get in front of this camera and share with somebody who she can't see on the other side. So thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for sharing this neighborhood with us. This thank place you. is stunning, y'all, right? Between the dog parks, the children's playground, but you know, you've got this beautiful lagoon and it's a boating community. I mean, like, I love that. The fact that you can pull your boat out of your, out of your dock, yes. right? 
and then go over to Oak and Stone, you know, right downtown in the marina in Bradenton there, or you can go all the way out to the Gulf of Mexico yeah. from, from this neighborhood. That's awesome. You guys are really close to 75. These are beautiful things. And the reason I wanted to share this community in Bradenton with you, as you know, right? So like I get phone calls every single day from people just like you who are considering buying, selling, or relocating to the Tampa Bay area. And Bradenton is just to the south. Literally, it's over the bridge from St. Pete, so it's close. And this is one of those areas that um, for me hadn't been a big focus, but you know, now having Marsha on the team here, you know, she's been so helpful and she's, you know, she's an expert here in Bradenton and Sarasota. So we wanted to give you guys access to that and also show you what it would be like to live in a boating community in particular, because that's, those are another, you know, set of phone calls that I get is, hey, we would love to be on the water. What does that look like? Well, you can be in a beautiful community just like this one you know, have a dock in your backyard and make your way down the Manatee River or on the Gulf of Mexico. So I think that that is incredible. So Marcia, thank you for sharing your community with us, your home. It's not easy to do y'all. Give her a shout out, comment <laughs> down below. Give grace, please. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be <laughs> featured on this channel because we are bringing you guys as much value as we humanly can. And we're gonna continue to do that in the future. So if you're considering making that move, buying, selling, relocating, or investing in the Tampa Bay or Sarasota area, Feel free to reach out. All of my contact information is listed down below. You can call, text, email. You can DM me on Instagram. Find Marsha there too. We'll put her contact inf information down there as well. Um, as always, there's a link to my calendar. We appreciate you. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life. Thanks, guys. Later.